peeps welcome back to another whiskey versus video today is gonna be pretty interesting we're gonna find out does age mean better does a higher age statement whiskey or scotch in particular mean it's better and is it worth the price we're gonna find out So today we have four Glendronics. We got the 12 year old, the 15 year old, the 18 year old, and the 21 year old. It's old enough to drink itself. So the 12 is sitting at 43% ABV. The 15 is sitting at 46% ABV. And if I remember right, the 18 is also 46% ABV. And the 21 sitting a little higher, 48% ABV. So if I remember correctly, just from regular tasting, this one is gonna be a heck of a lot different from this one. But does it mean that it's better? We're gonna do a blind tasting to find out. Quick thank you to all my peeps out there who are liking the videos, subscribing, and watching them. It means a lot to me, and it goes such a long way. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. Thank you. Ashley! Hi. All right, let's get into these drams. Starting off with number one, a little bit of a licorice note, a little bit of oak wood, deep sherry sweetness. So I didn't mention, but normally scotch is aged in ex-bourbon barrels. This is purely sherry cast aged. So that's pretty cool. You, you can uh, kind of relate it to a McAllen. Pretty deep cereal grain sweetness, a little bit of honey, maybe a little bit of blackberry, and like a hint of chocolate. It's actually really good. Highly recommend that one. <clears throat> oh, so take similar flavors from this. <clears throat> I would say I lose a little bit of that cereal grain note, which isn't a bad thing. I actually, most of the time, I don't prefer that note, but turn up to like eight on the chocolate and like the honeysuckle, butterscot. There's just so much going on in this glass. It takes first place for now. There's a little bit more spice to it. It's very close to this one. I think either of these, I'd have to go try that one again, would hold up pretty well to a cigar. Like, I'm, I'm, I get like a crap ton of tobacco as well. Like, I feel like they would mix pretty well. Going in for the third one. You suck, you jackass. More of the cereal, barley, grain note. It's good but it has too much of like a licorice note to it. I, I'm not a big fan on the licorice. This one just has a little bit more body, a little more spice and a little bit, it's more rounded I would say than that one. Both still good. I prefer this one though. Sensors, what do you want? You're so cute. I'm getting that tobacco note, a good deep sweetness to it. Last place, ah, oh. Glendronic 12, got last place. It's a solid, solid whiskey. It was lacking on the notes that come with age. The step between here and there, here and here, 12 to 15, is a pretty okay jump it adds like three to five extra notes i'm sure if i explored it a little bit more i could find more but either the 21 or the 18 got the first place for me surprise ending 21 gets second place the 18 gets first place 
the Allardis, and the Parliament. These are gorgeous Scotch whiskeys. The difference between the 15 and the 21 and 18, they're on a whole nother level when compared to like the 12 and 15. These two are so far beyond. If you get the chance, I would recommend the 18 over the 21. They're, the 21 obviously is more expensive because it's a higher age statement Scotch whiskey. But I, I would go with the 18. This is just my opinion. Let me know in the comments section below if you think I did this wrong. If you agree with me, disagree with me, let me know. I'm curious. But Glendronic 18, whew, gorgeous. May the roof above us never fall in, and we friends beneath never fall out. Cheers, guys. Ain't nothing wrong with that.